हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंशियल एक्सपेंशन एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व अ रिलेटेड न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम एट फर्स्ट लेटस अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ डिफरेंशियल एक्सपेंशन लेट एल वन एंड एल वन डैश बी द इनिशियल लेंथ्स ऑफ द टू रॉड्स एट टेम्परेचर थीटा वन एंड अल्फा and alpha dash be their linear expansivities respectively when the two rods are heated to temperature theta 2 then their lengths become l2 and l2 dash respectively after expansion then the difference of their final lengths will be l2 dash minus l2 that is difference d2 will be equal to l2 dash minus l2 so l2 dash can be written as l1 dash into 1 plus alpha dash theta 2 minus theta 1 and l2 may be written as l1 1 plus alpha theta 2 minus theta 1 and opening these two brackets it can be written as d2 is equal to l1 dash plus l1 dash alpha dash theta 2 minus theta 1 minus l1 minus l1 alpha theta 2 minus theta 1 like this or it can be rewritten as l1 dash minus l1 plus l1 dash alpha dash minus l1 alpha taking theta 2 minus theta 1 common so we get d2 is equal to d1 plus l1 dash alpha dash minus l1 alpha theta 2 minus theta 1 because l1 dash minus l1 is the difference of their initial lengths at temperature theta 1 this is l1 dash and this is l1 so d1 will be the difference of their initial lengths so we get d2 minus d1 d2 minus d1 is equal to l1 dash alpha dash minus l1 alpha into theta 2 minus theta 1 suppose this is equation 1 then this equation is known as differential expansion formula when l1 dash alpha dash minus l1 alpha is 0 0 that is L1 dash alpha dash is equal to L1 alpha. Suppose this is equation two. Then from equation one, from this equation, when this is zero, d2 minus d1 will be zero. That is. d2 will be equal to d1 is equal to constant na no? then or thus the difference of length of two rods remains constant at all temperatures this condition given by equation 2 is used in compensating pendulum clock and in bimetallic strips condition equation 2 is used in compensating
pendulum clock clock and in by metallic strips the difference of lengths of two rods of different materials remain constant at all temperatures if their initial lengths are in the ratio 1 is to 1.5 then find linear expansivity of second rod material taking linear expansivity of first rod as 3 into 10 to power minus 5 per kelvin solution given d1 is equal to d2 is equal to constant l1 upon l1 dash is 1 upon 1.5 alpha is equal to 3 into 10 to minus 5 per kelvin then alpha dash is what that is linear expansivity of second rod here d2 is equal to d1 is equal to constant therefore l1 dash upon l1 will be equal to alpha upon alpha dash which gives alpha dash as l1 alpha upon l1 dash here l1 upon l1 dash is given to be 1 upon 1.5 and alpha is given to be 3 into 10 to minus 5 so we get alpha dash as 2 into 10 to minus 5 per kelvin